All right. Uh, uh, wait, why? <laughs> so the game launched, but I, uh, okay. It seems that I kept my progress from testing. I mean, at least I got the C2 chain though. Yeah, is that, yo, the stats on this thing are wicked. Gengatron, this is serious, man. It, it makes it unfair. Like, I, I'm not gonna lie to you. This is unfair to have. In today's video, guys, we'll be checking out a brand new One Piece game that just released called Demon Piece. So now I'm grinding dolo in they absence, no, but I'm still sticking to the plan because I mapped it, no, and I don't care about going slow, just not backwards. If you didn't drop a like on the video, damn, man, that's really unfortunate. I mean, Robin and Nami told me they were going to give you guys your phone numbers, but you just had to not like the video. Oh, yeah, hey, man, you know what? Okay, yeah, you're changing your mind, right? Like the video and you'll get their number. All right, so here's the deal, right? We're going to have to be a Marine. Eh, okay. I'll be a Marine also, uh, also, uh, you know, uh, makes me be level 600, so, uh, okay. Six and a half hours later. Okay, so I got some daily rewards. Let's claim this. I think I got Sky Pin as my race. So I literally uh, had to make an alt account to come play the game fresh. Um, I hope, like, you know, if Keo or Zeke sees this video, I, I don't want to get reset. Don't reset me. Okay, I don't. <laughs> I very much want to keep my OPC2 chain and all the other OP stuff I have in my other account. But uh, for the purpose of this video, I did want to start all over and just like do things from the beginning, right? So we got a couple of stat points just to put it into strength because uh, I don't think we'll be getting a fruit anytime soon. But uh, this is the starter island. If you guys don't know, this game is heavily inspired by uh, block roots, you know, um, but the quality is up there as you guys can tell. So this looks pretty nice over here. And um, I'm more than sure I have I have Sky I thought we could go into buildings, but I guess not. Now this is the, the demon fruit shop. Um, if you talk to him, he'll show you pretty much what's in stock and what you can buy. Uh, I like how they they have everything segmented by their rarity. And let's see what else. Oh, they have a chest over there. Okay, we got. Oh, we got leather. Wait. So what is leather? What does this do? A uh, basic material used to upgrade weapons. Oh god damn. Okay. Okay. Then we have Wapa over here. I recently moved to this island and I made a home out of it, but these bandits came and are attacking us. Can you save us? Sure. That ain't no thing with me, big fella. You know what I'm saying? All right, so let's go ahead and uh, I guess start with our uh, bandit beating. What you guys thought? Damn, the VFX is clean on the level. Up. I ain't gonna lie to you, gang. I'm not gonna lie. God damn. Yeah, I I'm not gonna lie. That's a really clean VFX <laughs> for a level up. I really like how that looks. That's one of the main things that I liked about this game um, is just the VFX and the overall look of it. Things do seem a little bit laggy right now, but um, but yeah, you know, we're getting we're getting your done. We're getting your done, as they say. Um, mastery gain seems pretty pretty good considering the fact that we don't have double mastery. We just have double XP going on right now. So let's just uh, oops. That's the wrong stat. Let's put some into defense and then the rest into strength. I would assume that might be the way to go. Now, if I look at the shop, they do have a starter pack. Um, what do you get? You get a permanent sand fruit, 50,000 belly, two times XP, two times mastery. Sure. All right, I'll get that. That's not, that's not bad, man. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're properly monetizing their game. A lot of games don't know how to, how to monetize their game at all. Um, and I just noticed I bought this on my old account, so I almost have no blue books now. <laughs> Whoops. All right, it is what it is. Uh, so they have a lot of other stuff, um, like belly and boost, um, some dev products here, as you guys can see. They, they really monetize the hell out of this game, which is good. That's good. You know, they're getting their bag properly. Okay, so let's see. They have another NPC, which is level 10. His name is Abu. And then we have the boss at level 15. However, I did see uh, an NPC all the way over here, as you guys can see, kind of, sort of, over there, up top. But they have a, a cave here, too. So what's what's inside of this cave? Huh? What the heck? Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm not really understanding why they have this cave. But I guess, hey, uh, you can open some chests. It would be nice if they changed it up and they made it so that you can actually collect chests without having to unequip or detoggle your uh, current selected tool. Um, ooh, we got a spirit gem there and some hardened glass. So I guess some chests will give you better rewards than others. But they do have a significant amount of chests like scatter around the uh, the environment for this area. Now, how the hell am I supposed to get up there to talk to this guy? Oh, you know what? Maybe 
Oh, I was gonna say maybe you can dash like upwards. Okay, I think I might have figured out how to get up there, guys. Yeah. All right. So a little bit of a knobby, you know, to get up there, but you gotta go around. So just come to the back side over here, and you'll be able to, you know, do your thing from the back. <laughs> Pouch. Oh, level 35 for this guy. Okay. But that guy has like a, a different uh, quest indicator. So possibly he might give us like maybe uh, a different type of style or something. I don't know. Not really a, a, a normal type of quest, right? But um, okay, there you go. And my question is I bought what I bought. Oh, I got to use it. There you go. You got to redeem this stuff. So maybe you'll be able to actually trade these things um, and whatnot. So I'm not going to eat the double fruit just yet because I don't want to uh main a fruit just yet so let's just keep doing this quest and we'll try to get to level 10 and i'll catch you guys when we're ready to uh take on the uh the next npc okay guys just got to level 11 so we can now take on this quest so their leader is here please save me blah blah all right so this is the bandit leader yes very normal <laughs> the game is not beating the bandit beating allegations you know what i'm saying People, people, I already can see the future. People gonna be a comment like, oh my God, great, another bandit beater. Oh yeah, we definitely needed more, blah, 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 blah. That's all people talk about, bro. I ain't gonna hold you, gang. Okay, so let me take on this quest and we'll get to um, to level 15, hopefully. And we'll go from there. But I, I'm really liking, like this is something that I mentioned when I tested the game. I like how snappy the game is beyond how it looks visually. Um, and I think like people that main block shoots would definitely appreciate that for this game because it, it's just like an HD version of block shoots. In my opinion, this is how I view this game. However, things right now do seem a little bit laggy for my taste, but that's just my two cents, right? So, and I don't know, but I think like chest spawns are probably going to get nerfed because there's a lot of chests that spawn, bro. Like it's actually crazy. So these subordinates came from nowhere. And started pillaging us along with the previous bandits. They must be working together. Take them out and maybe we can have a clue who their leader is. Uh, sure. Okay, it's, it's not a problem. Okay, so now we gotta defeat uh these better and stronger and more vicious bandits. Alright, I'm dead. <laughs> what the hell? Wait, maybe I have oh yeah, I have a couple of stat points. So let me just allocate it to my defense. So even though I allocated the stat points to my defense, um, they still do a pretty significant amount of damage to me, so uh, I, I, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. <laughs> it's gonna be tough to be a glass cannon in this game, or maybe it isn't tough at all. Maybe I just shouldn't be wasting my stat points on defense and just go even more all in, if you will, on strength. I don't know, right? We'll see. So we gotta get to level 25 for that quest, and who's Eddie? Ooh, Eddie has a shop. What do you have, a katana? Oh, he has a cutlass, flintlock. And an eye patch. So let's buy the eye patch. Uh, well, screw it. We'll buy all of them just to test out these different weapons and stuff like that. Uh, we'll put on the eye patch. What does that do? Does that give us like, yeah, 25%, uh, 25 health, excuse me, 10% movement speed. Okay, so it reinforces my analogy or way of thinking rather of uh, just like literally being a glass cannon. So I can use, okay, that's good. I can use the flintlock to aggro these guys from a distance that way i don't have to aggro multiple of them i like the v yo the vfx is so clean on this game i like the vfx on the flint lock too and i somehow died while attacking okay <laughs> okay we're gonna use some of our uh melee abilities because i haven't been using them so that was the smash ability that i just used there uh we're gonna go ahead and use the uh, tackle ability now which looks like that it's like a you know a barge not bad. Maybe I should go like the swordsman route. You guys know me when I play these games. I go the swordsman route like majority of the time. But I don't know because I would have to like reset my stats for that. Oh, maybe they have. Hold on. Maybe they have uh, codes that we can use for that. Maybe I don't have to spend bow bucks. But thankfully, we got to level 25. So let's do our thing. So I don't know where you actually use codes in this game. Um, is it in your. No, it's not in your inventory. Is it in settings? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, so you can use follow Twitter. And that'll give you a stat point reset and that's exactly what we needed so that's phenomenal uh so we'll do like 50 into sword and uh screw it right all right i'll try to be not that bad with my allocation here so we'll do the rest into defense uh i was able to locate the leader behind your operation if you follow his path it will take you to his cave okay so now we got another boss fight so we got like, well, basically we had a mini boss fight with the bandit leader. And I guess this is the actual like boss boss. Yeah. So this is Rainer. 
Um, oh my god, yo. A swordsman is OP as hell in this game. <laughs> yo, this is why I try to tell you guys that no matter like what, what game I play as far as like One Piece. Well, actually, actually any game. I, I try to go out uh, for the swordsman route. Like, swordsmen are so freaking busted, bro. It's it's like ridiculous, man. Um, so let me let me take on this next quest. Um, which is just like literally the the bandit boss again. There you go. Pretty easy. And then we'll run to um oh, yo, I'm limiting myself with my stamina. Yeah, I'm gonna have to allocate like probably like 10 into strength to get my stamina up. You know what? We'll do 20. Okay. And then we'll leave it as is, but, um, oh yeah, man, I ain't gonna lie, man. Y'all know originally I liked, uh, Legacy Piece more than, than Demon Piece, but, like, me playing the game now, like, this one doesn't seem as buggy. So, ooh, the cut view effects, I guess, like, nobody in the server had used it, so it didn't replicate already, but let me use it again. Yeah, there you go. So, cut view effects looks pretty decent. Um, but yeah, like, compared to Legacy Piece, I'm definitely enjoying this game a lot more. Um, a lot more so far and I don't know like, I, I got to get back to playing some more like a legacy piece too I might do that later today or tomorrow. I haven't been able to record that many videos, but um, Between the two I would like to know your guys thoughts and opinions too as to which one you like more But uh, that's just my two cents. So okay. We're level 39. I think I can like literally go ahead and Take on this other quest. Ooh, what the heck Brody? All right, I almost messed that up, but <laughs> all right, let's see. Can you please deliver this letter to my friend in Orange Town? Sure. Okay, so I guess now we just got to go to the second island. But I'm telling you, chest pawns in this game are so OP, bro, and there's a good chance it'll actually have crafting materials. So I hope that's not the case, but I, I do see them nerfing the heck out of uh, the chest pawns and whatnot. So, but it is what it is. All right, so this is the boat seller, um, and then we can buy a boat. So let's see how much is the coffin bowl? Uh, 349 not bad, right? And I think you get um, Both of them. Yeah, you get both of them. So I don't have enough belly right now. Obviously um, We can buy a robo, but I think we can literally just like yeet this one over here. So Yeah, I'm just gonna steal this person. Yo, the VFX on the boat is um, Good too. I don't know man. The VFX is so clean on Legacy Piece and Demon Piece that I feel like maybe they, they might use the same VFX artist. I, I don't know, but it just, it looks really nice to me. Okay, so this seems to be the second island. That's the only gripe that I have so far is that seemingly islands uh, aren't that big. And based on how fast we're leveling up, um, I think that's good because it makes the game like quick, easy, and, and just like, you know, not a grind fest. But uh, I, maybe people might get bored of the game quick because I've noticed that it's like people complain about Leveling and the grind in a lot of games, but then when games aren't grindy They complain because the game's boring and I completed it in like an hour and a half and there's nothing left to do So I hope that's not something that um, you know gets in the way of this game But to the game's defense, I feel like the reason why they did that is because this game truly is a PvP game It's not really uh, so much as to like about PvE but they do have things to appeal to people uh, that do want to go the, the PvE route, right? So, anyhow, uh, let's turn in this quest here. There you go. Beautiful. And then we'll take this quest from Unreal. So, pirates have invaded our town along with the leader. Could you thin the pirates' numbers so we can save the town? Sure. Sure, that ain't no thing. All right, so here we go. We got our orange pirate. Ooh, that ain't bro. We are shredding, bro. Like, being a swordsman... I, I, I think might be the bro. Was that the boss? Oh, that no, was not the boss. I was about to say If that was the boss man, we are just shredding right now gang. Okay, so we just completed the quests uh, We are level 45 now, so I think I can take this quest So there you go um, So we got to defeat buggy. I think I think I fought buggy in one of the testing videos that I made So I don't think buggy can actually be attacked with a sword Yeah, so you have to do like melee the unfortunate part is that I don't you know, I don't have a lot of stat points into melee at all. And I'm dead. <laughs> Whoops. Well, just to help expedite this, I'm going to put some more stat points into strength, which is unfortunate because I feel like I already had enough stamina, but it is what it is, I guess. Yeah, yeah. All right. This is a lot better. So this is not going to take 50 years now. Thanks to my stat allocation. There you go. Got that done. Ooh, and we got an orange cake. Yeah, yeah. Yo, yo, yo. The orangey guys really are blessing us. Uh. So here we go, orange cape. 
equip that. You also have this scarf. Oh, but you can only have one equipment on at a time. All right. I'd rather take the cape. Yo, this is sick, man. Yeah, I really like how easy it is to also grind bosses and whatnot. It's not something that you can't solo dolo, you know? So I'm gonna take the, the Unreal quest one more time and we'll get it done real quick before we try to figure out if there's another like quest type that we can get on this island. Okay, so we're level 55 now. Um, I'm gonna see if there's another quest type or maybe not. Maybe I, I, I think that's actually it. So how long do we gotta stay here for? So level 35 is for Orange Town. Level 60. Okay, so we gotta do uh, one more quest. All right, guys. So level 62 now. Just defeated the buggy quest one more time. Um, so now let's let's try to get out of here. Yeah. So our next quest is uh, finding Zet at the jungle. Oh, they got Zet in this game. So what is 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 the VFX in this game made by Zet? Or I don't know. We'll see. So anyway, we'll spawn a, a robo here. And we'll make our way to the next location. I wonder where you'll be able to, if, if they even have it, but where will you'll be able to get like log poses and stuff to see um, the location of, of uh, islands and stuff. If anything, they can monetize that if they don't already. Um, with just like a game pass that lets you know like where every single, oh yeah, the island tracker. <laughs> yeah, lo and behold, brother, they did have that. So let me buy that for myself, brother. Do I have enough? I do have enough. Great. Okay, so there you go. Um, it's it's unfortunate that they decided to just only give you this via Bobux. I feel like uh, this establishes a conversation of like being pay to win. Uh, and in order to mitigate stuff like that, I think they should have made like individual log poses be purchasable at these uh, islands. Um, but if you wanted to have all of them, you know, you can just uh, buy the game pass for 150 Bobux. So. But it is what it is. Okay, guys. So we've made it to uh, to Jungle Island. I'm curious if this is where they'll introduce like, because we can dash infinitely. But like, what about like when are we gonna get Gepo and stuff like that, right? Like, are we gonna get new abilities anytime soon? Oh wait, actually, <laughs> ironically, I believe so. So let me let me go over here. Okay, never mind, gang. I, I kind of messed up. Hold on, let me see. This is gonna be tough, I think. <laughs> yes, sir. It's gonna be real tough. So maybe. Maybe if like I like run up this tree a little bit, right? Like that, and then just, oh my God, yeah, fall. Okay, I managed to do it, guys. Yeah, I, I did the tree strategy, it actually worked. Um, But let's see, what is this guy? Ooh, this is the dojo teacher. My dojo has recently been shut down, but I still have some stuff worn by some of our greatest martial artists. I can sell them to you. Okay, so what is he? Damn, why are these things worth 10K uh cash? Okay, I'll choose, I'll choose both, right? So what does this do? Does it change our martial arts style? No, it doesn't. Okay, so we put the headband on. What the hell does that even do? <laughs> what does this do? Oh, it gives you stamina region. All right, well, that was trash. I was not worth purchasing at all. Like, what the heck? Okay, so here's the first quest giver, which is that. Uh, so a tribe of primates is taking over the islands, the lower ranked monkeys. Or right up here. What does this man mean by monkeys, huh? <laughs> nah, just play. Um, so here we go. We gotta defeat the monkeys. And whoa, these guys are actually uh, kind of beefy with their HP, bro. They're not that easy to defeat. Wait, did I just? Oh no, dog. I'm, I don't want to fight you, dog. Oh, I have 50 stat points. Jeez, Louise. No wonder I, you know, was barely doing damage. Bro, is this man? Is this man really trying to attack me right now? Okay, I think he really is trying to uh, trying to fight me, bro. And I'm gonna die. Okay, yeah, I, I gotta be careful because I think this man is trying to uh, fight me, and I'm I'm literally about to die, bro. Okay, I just died. <laughs> I don't know if he gets bounty for that or what, but uh, all right, well, whatever it is, what it is. So this man really trying to uh, attack me still. What the hell, Brody? All right, Brody. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to kill this man because this man is like literally attacking me for no reason, gang. For no reason, gang. It's kind of crazy. It's crazy that he's trying to attack me, but oh, I'm dead. <laughs> what the hell, bro? All right. Well, he just started. He just started something he can't finish. Legit, gang. Ah, oh, man. Come here. Come here. I have PvP disabled. What the hell is that? Huh? This I have PvP disabled. Did this able my PvP, bro? Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah. No, 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 no. Come here. Come here, gang. Come here, gang. How do I have PvP? All right. You know what? Look. 
<laughs> we already know what we got to do in this island. So I'm going to wrap up this here and uh, we'll continue hopefully tomorrow on another video. If you guys want to see a daily series on this, just let me know in the comment section below. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Catch you later.